Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can read from the title, we are going to be discussing the things that I hate about Oklahoma because as you may or may not know, I had to move to Oklahoma because my boyfriend got a promotion and they moved him out here and I was not. <laughs> I moved to Oklahoma. So let's get right on into it because bitch, I've been pr procrastinating this video. And yes, I do have a list of things Starting with, you know what, let's go on ahead and start with this because I feel a lot of people are going to be deceived by this one. The cost of living. Wait a damn minute. Because you may be thinking, oh, it's Oklahoma. Isaiah, you moved from California. It should be way cheaper. Give me a second because to get an inexpensive house, I moved to the city because, again, I'm not moving out into the middle of the countryside. To get a house in the city that's inexpensive, you either have to get a house that was built in 1959 that is 900 square foot and it has to be in the hood. You will not be getting a nice house out here that is inexpensive, especially not these new houses. Baby, let me tell you something about a brand new house. If you want a brand new house, I don't know why they're building all these McMansions. I think they're called McMansions, MC Mansions, because they're not full-on mansions. These houses are like maybe 1,500 square feet and above, three bed, two bath, the, the very generic three bed, two bath, 1,500 square foot, maybe a 1,700 square foot house. They consistently build these houses and these houses start at like $300,000. $300,000. You cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real. And then if you want to move to the nicer part of the cities, they're starting at like four, three fifty. I'll give it three fifty. I'll give it three fifty to four hundred thousand. Nope. I wanted to give a generous three fifty, but it is well into the four hundreds, baby. These houses are not cheap. Again, unless you're gonna get a house built in the seventies or the fifties or the no ma'am, bitch, no ma'am. And then if you do get a house that's built in the fifties, sixties, and seventies. You are going to be spending, I don't know if you watched my renovation video. What I did is the cheap, the cheap route. And luckily I didn't get a house with a whole bunch of, with a whole bunch of plumbing, a whole bunch of electrical issues. Luckily I didn't get one of those houses because I would have been spending way more than what I spent on this house. If you get an old house, you will be spending money to fix it up. So you might as well buy a new house. Who has 300... And then minimum wage out here, I'm pretty sure is still $7.25. Minimum wage, because out here in the Midwest, it's not California. California, yeah, they have the $14 to $15 minimum wages. But here in the Midwest, no, 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 what was my next thing? Utilities. Out here, your utility bills? Oh my God. Tell me why my utility bills in the summer for electric and gas, bitch, it's reaching $200. It's reaching $300. When it gets to the summer, your AC bill is going to be like $200 to $300. I paid that. I paid that. I don't know why it's this big thing that people think that, oh, since everywhere is going up, I'll just move out to the Midwest and get a cheaper house. I'll just move to Oklahoma. I'll move to Texas. I'll move to Tennessee. I'll move to Mississippi. I'll move to Alabama and get a cheaper house and the cost of living is cheap. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Unless you're going to move out to the middle of the countryside and get a septic tank and get, no, it's not, and dig a well. And then you're going to spend like however much it costs to dig a well. And then the prices to maintain a septic tank, you know, when you flush the toilet and it goes out to the septic tank, 
and then you have to empty the septic tank. No, 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 no. So the cost of living is very deceiving. It's a lie. It's a lie. They lied, y'all. They lied. It was all a lie. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. It was all a lie. It was all a lie. The cost of living is not cheaper. House prices, utilities, no, no, no. So if you're one of those people, go on ahead and get rid of that thought right now. Moving into the next thing. Outdated roads. Oh my God, the sizes of these roads. And then what's funny is they try to make these roads like these roads are only so wide, right? I think these roads were literally split into one section going this way, one section going that way. So what it looks like they did is divided them into two. So now there's two lanes going each direction, but the roads are still skinny. And then there is no center divider lane. So there's two lanes, there's side by side, and there's no lane in the middle. So if you need to make a left-hand turn and there's cars coming this way, you're waiting for all the cars to pass you, waiting. There's like 50 cars behind you and they're honking. Bitch, there's gonna be an accident. It's fucked up. It's outdated, and then the way they try to update it is fucked up. They try to update the old shit instead of just fully renovating and fully demolishing and building up new. They try to update the old shit, and it didn't work, and now it's fucked. It's fucked. Especially the older downtown Tulsa, midtown Tulsa. Those areas, and they're the nicer areas, and their streets are fucked. I was talking to my boyfriend about this. You Google Tulsa, you see these pictures of these big ass skyscrapers, you see all this development, and you think, oh, this is basically like a miniature LA. Nope. No, no, not in the slightest. And then these houses, you're over in downtown Tulsa where it's supposed to be nice, you have all these gentrified houses and then there's one house in the middle that this 100 year old couple has been in for the past 80 fucking years. They don't update their house. It's the shittiest house on the fucking block. Oh my God. I just need to move into the next topic. So cost of living covered, outdated covered. Next thing, I'm going to jump right into the bug issue. These motherfucking bugs out here, bitch. The crickets, the mosquitoes, the spiders, the biting flies. Bitch, yes, you heard me correctly. Biting flies. These flies bite you just like mosquitoes, but they're not mosquitoes. They're flies. They bite. They leave a welt on your skin from where they bit you just like a mosquito, and it fucking itches. Bitch, all these fucking bugs. Oh, my God. And then these crickets. Bitch, these crickets will get into your house. No ma'am. No ma'am. Wait a damn minute. No ma'am. And there are multiple types of crickets. It's these crickets and then there's something called a spider cricket. Oh hell no. Bitch, what the fuck is this? Because bitch, not only do the crickets find their way into your fucking house, these spiders find their way into your fucking house. And these are big spiders, small spiders, microscopic spiders. These spiders will lay their webs. Where I come from in California, the spiders, if they did get in your house, they stayed in the corner. They stayed in the corner. You saw them, you sprayed them. These spiders here, they crawl around your house like they fucking own the place. Like they pay rent. Bitch, they crawl in the middle of your floor. Bitch, they crawl on the carpets. Bitch, oh my God. And then these crickets. Bitch, it's like they're not meant to walk on the carpets or something because, bitch, I'll wake up in the morning, there's a dead cricket, and then the leg is missing, and then like two feet from where the cricket was walking, the leg is over there like, like, bitch, its leg got stuck in the carpet and it ripped off the fucking cricket, and then it crawled to its death. Bitch, what the fuck? Bitch, I hate the fucking spiders. It's too much. Next thing, the humidity. See, I'm not no bitch. I'm not no bitch. 
Where I come from in California, I was raised in the high desert. I was raised in Victorville, California. Bitch, I'm used to over 100 degree weather in the summer. I'm used to it being hot. I'm used to the heat. But once you throw some humidity into the mix, bitch, oh my God, out here when it gets hot in the summer, it is like you're breathing in lukewarm bath water, bitch. It is so fucking humid here, bitch. And then let me tell you, because even when you're inside of your house, it's humid as fuck. Bitch, you have to buy a dehumidifier, Especially if you're going to be like me and you see that your AC bill is damn near $400 from running the AC. So you're like, oh, you know what? I got to turn the AC off and I just got to rock with the heat. Bitch, you will be sitting in the house, blackout curtains, ceiling fan on max, and bitch, you'll be sweating because it's so fucking humid and hot in the house. This humidity is disgusting. And then when you go outside, you pair that humidity with these mosquitoes, with these flies, these biting flies, all these cicadas. Oh my God. And then the cicadas, because I forgot to mention that with the bugs. You go outside, bitch, it's like a war zone, bitch. It's... <laughs> these cicadas make some of the weirdest fucking noise. And then you pair that with being hot and humid. You feel disgusting. Your body feels all sticky. You have these flies. You feel gross as fuck. Itchy. You're sweating. It's humid. Bitch. No. It'll be 90 degrees. The sun will be out and humid. And it feels like 120 degrees. Oh my God. And then it'll rain. And it's sunny five minutes later. Hot. Humid. What? No. No, 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 no. It doesn't even get far into the hundreds here. And the humidity might as well make it far into the hundreds. Next thing. There's little to nothing to do out here. There's little to nothing to do. There's little to no. Let me tell you something. Even though I used to live in Victorville, the high desert of California. Let me tell you something. I used to be able to go up to Silverwood Lake. I used to be able to go up to Wrightwood. I used to be able to go to fucking Big Bear. I used to be able to go to Palm Springs. I used to be able to go right up to Las Vegas. I used to be able to go down to LA. I used to be able to go to Rodeo Drive. I used to be able to go over to fucking Santa Barbara. I had so much shit to do in California. California was populated. California was high priced. California was populated. But since it was populated, that means there was a lot of cities. And in those cities, there was a lot of shit to do. There was a lot of shit to look at. There was a lot of sights to see. There was a lot of places to shop out here. There's lakes, there's trails. Bitch, I'm not walking the trails because I don't feel like getting ate up by no damn mosquitoes during the middle of the day. And I'm damn sure not gonna walk at night because bitch, hearing cicadas at night and then knowing that there's these big ass spiders and crickets and shit, I'm not walking at night. I'm not going to no lake at night. I'm not getting bit up at night. And then bitch, when you go to the lakes, half the lakes here, not even half. A good 99.9% .9 of the lakes here, you can't do shit at the lake unless you have a boat. And bitch, I'm not about to buy a boat and or get a boat license. So fuck out of here with that. Because bitch, you can barely walk half these lakes. I can't even find my way down to the shore to walk the side of the lake. And then not that I would really want to walk the lake because bitch, like I said, I'm not about to get ate up by no damn mosquito. And then, so let me explain the mall situation. Bitch, back in California, I could have went to Ontario Mills, one of the plethora of Westfields, Victoria Gardens, the Grove, the Barstow Out, bitch, the Barstow Outlets. I'm bringing up the Barstow, the shitty ass Barstow Outlets. And what's that place right by fucking Palm Springs? The Desert House Premium Outlets at Cabazon. Bitch, I could go to the shopping outlets. I could go to the mall. I could go anywhere. Everywhere in California had an outlet mall, an outdoor shopping center, an indoor mall. Bitch, here, they have one mall. One mall. Because the other one is borderline abandoned. That's it. That's the only mall. I'm not trying to keep going to the Woodland Hills Mall. Once you do that, 
What else? Yeah, you have downtown. Let me tell you something about downtown. The only reason I go to downtown Tulsa is for Virginia Ramen. And that's it. I've been to Black Wall Street twice. I went to that Black Wall Street Museum about the Tulsa race massacre and all that once. And I'm not going to just keep going back to the museum because I don't want to keep hearing about my people's houses getting burned down and being chased out of Tulsa. I don't want to keep hearing about that. But other than that, the rest of these skyscrapers are business buildings, hotel buildings, apartments, and that's it. They have some arenas over there. What am I going to go to the arena for? Downtown is like nothing. I'm not trying to keep going to downtown every single weekend. Like once you do the things that are to be done here in Tulsa, like all the attractions and stuff, like there's not that much to do. Like, bitch, when you go to Santa Monica, like you have the Santa Monica Pier, you have the Santa Monica Beach, then you have the mall over there, and then LA is like literally right there. So literally, that's a whole day. Here, you go to downtown Tulsa, that's not a whole day. Bitch, I go to downtown Tulsa, and at max, I spend like maybe 30, 45 minutes, and on a good day, if I just want to go out of my way to do everything, maybe I'll spend an hour to an hour and a half down there. I don't want to keep driving by the same skyscrapers for these banks and these hotel buildings. I don't want to keep doing that. And then it doesn't even look all that good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to move back to California. I've been talking about that with my boyfriend. I'll get into that later. But like traveling and sightseeing out here, bitch, it's so fucking whack. It's whack. These cities are so old. I drove to Muskegee. Muskegee? Is it Muskegee? Muskogee. Whatever the fuck that shit is. Bitch, that is the ugliest fuck. That is the saddest, ugliest. There's nothing to do. And then I drove to their mall. Bitch, tell me why their mall was like halfway abandoned, bitch. JCPenney, Macy's, half those stores are closed. They don't have anything else in there. They have the police station on the other side. And that's it. Saddest small I've ever fucking seen. There's nothing to do. What's the next thing on my list? The people. This is my first time living in a state where the white population is so, so predominant. Like I'm pretty sure all of the fucking United States is like ma majority white people, but like back in California, I would say there was a pretty good mix here in Oklahoma. Unless you move to like North Tulsa and Turley, where the hood is at, it's literally like white, 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 like the population of Caucasian here, and then the politics. You hear Oklahoma and you know what the politics are, so I don't even need to get into the politics. And then, as you saw in my last. I don't know if you saw the other video I did where I was taking pictures and these and this white man and his I don't know if that was his girlfriend, his wife, his friend. This white man and his wife came up to me and started talking to me out of nowhere. Like the amount of people out here that want to make senseless small talk with you and it's so awkward. The people here will see you literally in a rush or doing something in the middle of something. Hey, what you doing? Oh, the weather. Oh, I went down to my wife and I got this. Oh, how you doing? Really, nigga? My next thing, these turnpikes. If you don't know what a turnpike is, let me tell you. A turnpike is a freeway. A freeway that you have to pay for. Like, if I want to go from here to Dallas, Texas, I have to take a, um, a turnpike. And if I don't take the turnpike, I'm going to be adding an extra hour to my travel. If I want to take the interstate, and that's so fucking weird because how is the interstate a turnpike? Like, I can understand, like, a state highway being a turnpike, 
But something that gets you from state to state being a turnpike and you have to pay for that? Do you not know that there are people that live in Big Speed, Jinx, Broken Arrow, even some part, I'd even go as far to say like South Tulsa. They have to take the turnpike. And if you don't take the turnpike, you're just going to be driving the street to your house. And then, because I know you bitches are like, Isaiah, it's just the paid freeway. In California, you pay for it. They take a picture of your license plate. They mail you your fee. They mail it to you. No, bitch. Do you not know that they expect you to pay exact fucking change at these turnpikes? On my way here to Tulsa, I took the turnpike. I had to pay exactly, was it $5 for the, um, and what turnpike was that? The Turner Turnpike to go from Oklahoma City to Tulsa? I had to pay exact change. No card payment, no card, not a card, cash, cash, baby, cash. And then once I got off of that, my GPS routed me onto another turnpike. I had to take the Creek Turnpike to get to my hotel. Do you not know they expected me to pay exactly $1.15 in cash and coins? <laughs> oh, bitch, I broke the law, that bitch. And then these turnpikes are built so fucking shitty. Bitch, there's a bridge, right? This bridge is so fucking bumpy. Bitch, I'm riding the bridge and I'm literally... Dum, 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 dum. Bitch, my shocks are gonna go out. Who's gonna pay for the suspension on my car? Bitch, did you not know... When I drove out to Muskogee, Muskegee, Musk Muskogee, I had to take the turnpike to get there. And if I didn't, it was going to be like an extra 45 fucking minutes. There's people that take the turnpike to literally get to their house. To get to another part of the state, you have to take the turnpike. Next thing. Yeah, this is probably the last thing. The internet. More specifically, Cox Wi-Fi, Cox Internet Services, Cox. I don't know what the fuck they were doing this summer, but do you not know I had so many outages? I had, bitch, there were days where the internet would go out two to three times in a fucking row and the outage wouldn't be repaired until hours fucking later. And this was like an every other day thing and sometimes a daily thing. Why does the internet go out so fucking often. Do you not know? I had a way better internet experience up in the cheap ass high desert. When my internet went out, it's because my router was old and bad and I needed a new router. Here, it's not even the router. It's the stupid maintenance and it's the stupid outages. Do you not know how many things I use in my house that are connected to the internet? My TV, my doorbell, my fucking phone, my laptop, all these Googles and Alexa devices, my AC system, my fan. Too many things run off of internet nowadays for the internet to be going out as often as it does. And then there's like high wind, rain, floods, snow, Whatever the fuck, you know damn well the internet is going out. The power is going out. I hate it here. And then let's go back to um that whole cost of living thing. And if you were to move out, out to the countryside. I saw this video on TikTok of this random town here in the state of Oklahoma. And their water that comes out of their faucet is brown. So I posted this video yesterday about our city water and got a ton of questions. 
First of all, we live in Conowal, Oklahoma. It is a very small town and we have been having water issues for years. We are so lucky to be able to afford to buy bottles of water and jugs of water and that's what we do. But there's people in this town, this town is so poor that can't afford to buy water. Out in the countryside, you probably could find a big, nice house. Probably not a nice house. It would probably be an old house that you would have to renovate. But you could find a house like that for like maybe 50 grand, 30 grand. You probably could find that. But at what cost? At what cost? Because you don't know what the conditions for any utilities are. If you're even going to get utilities, you don't know what the water's like. You don't know what the electricity's like. You don't know what the gas is like. You don't know what the fuck it's like. You don't know. Needless to say, my experience here, I don't really like it. There's like nothing to do. Everything here is like old and outdated. And if it's not old and outdated, it's brand new and overpriced. Like seriously, the prices of a brand new house here is pretty similar to the prices of new houses in um, Victorville, California. House prices in Victorville, California start at like $300,000 to $400,000. And here is the same thing. California is so overpriced. California new houses are so... No. Here in Oklahoma, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a brand new McMansion three-bed, two-bathroom, 1,500 square foot house in Oklahoma that's in a, a pretty decent community where their streets are updated is going to run you a clean $300,000. That's everywhere. All the utility companies, all these new home builders, all these water companies, electric, all these grocery stores, these food prices, it's going up nationwide and I hate it here. I hate it here. I might as well have stayed back in California where I at least enjoyed my experience living and having stuff to do. I might as well have stayed. But yeah, I pretty much covered everything. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you found this video informative, entertaining, useful. I hope you find some type of value in this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment. And I'll be catching you in the next video. No, no, wait. You'll be catching me in the next video because... I'll be posting the next video and you got to catch it, right? Okay. Bye, y'all.